Hello everyone, it's Knox, and today we are going to uh, do a demo on the new feature for Carbon Black containers for malware scanning. So I have up here, this is the new TechZone article that just came out uh, about the new feature, detecting malware in container images. Uh, it's a nice article, appreciate it. Um, and it defines here what VMware defines as malware, and it is going to say that it's harmful code. Uh, it, bro uh, it broadly uses the terms for viruses, bots, ransomware, etc. And here are the uh, features that it says that users can now detect suspicious files in all containers. It can alert or block uh, the container workloads with suspicious files. You use the image scan log to review all the scan activities, including that file reputation scan information for all scan types. Deny workload an image, images affected by malware through a policy. And we can manage a list of customer provided hashes. That's nice. Explore deeper into the detected malware and allow them to make the decision whether or not they want to exclude it. In other words, uh, a file that may get reported as malware, but in your environment, it is not malware. And so you can exclude that. So exciting new feature here. And I went a little overboard and decided that I wanted to, uh, in this demo, as we get hands-on with this new feature, I'm gonna walk through uh a build deploy run scenario we see all the time uh in our slide decks and we talk about uh for the software development life cycle there's this build deploy run cycle that we go through and i want to show you where this feature fits into this build deploy uh, run pipeline is what that is called so you'll see over here here's my machine here in the bunker and I'm, on, I'm gonna have my VS code I'll show you in a minute. Uh, it will have the code. We are going to build a Docker file, um, which will build an image. And we will push that uh, code to GitLab. Now, once we push the code to GitLab, I have a trigger that will trigger the GitLab runner. And this is your CI CD pipeline. And the runner will build the image. During this run, it will, once it builds the image, it will request a scan of the image here in the pipeline. After that scan is complete, it's going to push the image to Harbor, which is a image repository to my Harbor that I have set up. It's uh, over here in this tab. We'll look at it in a moment. And then when we're ready, it's gonna sit here. This won't be automatic. It's going to sit here. Then we're going to go to the Kubernetes cluster and we're going to deploy a pod that will use the image that we just built that has the malware in it, and we will deploy it to the Kubernetes cluster. And then we'll be able to go in and see uh, that the Carbon Black Cloud will have the scan results from the build run, which will show uh, the malware. Uh, it'll be in the logs of the run of the uh, build process, and it will be in the console. And once we deploy it in the Kubernetes cluster, it will also show up as um, in the new file reputation widget that is on uh, the Kubernetes, the image dashboard. So we're gonna look at all of that. It's gonna be great. So let's, let's dive right in. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to VS Code. So here's VS Code, and I have a little repo here called MicroKate's Demo. And so we have a Docker file here uh, we're going to have the Docker file that's called Python 3 Extra. It's extra because it has malware in it. And you see here I have a folder called Dirty Files with a piece of malware that is simply named malware so that it's easy for us to find. You can see this is an extremely simple Docker file. We're just going to pull from Python. We're going to uh, pip install a couple packages, and then we're going to add the dirty files, the malware. Now I have also in this repo a GitLab CI file. If you've never seen one of these before, this is how we define a pipeline. So I have a couple different stages in this pipeline, uh, but really the only one we care about is this build Python extra. So we're gonna look for that stage. It's not this one. This one's build Python plus. We want build Python extra. So we'll scroll down and here it is. 
build Python extra. So that's our stage. I have it uh, so that I have to have a commit message. My commit message must contain Python extra for uh, this, this pipeline to run. It's going to run um, this code down here, which is going to set up my Harbor login. Uh, we're gonna change directories. We're gonna build the Docker image. And then I'm going to, in this case, I've not baked the CBCTL into my, uh, my pipeline image that I'm using to do this build. I haven't, I haven't baked it in yet. So I have to actually wget and pull the CBCTL into uh, the image. And then we're going to run uh, the scan. I have all of the important information like the API key and the org key, et cetera, saved in variables in GitLab so that it can pull them safely and securely. And then it'll run. So let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and we're going to git commit. We're going to do a malware test on Python extra. And remember our, our commit message is Python extra that will cause it to um, trigger. So we committed it and now we're going to push our code, git push. And we have successfully pushed. All right, so now we're going to jump over to GitLab. So here is uh, my little GitLab that I have set up. And I'm just gonna refresh this page just so I can prove to you um, that you should see that, uh, here we go, the GitLab CI was modified just now. We had a couple little edits to it. So that has just been updated. Now we're gonna go over here to pipelines. So we go to pipelines. And we see it's running already. It has it has already started the GitLab running process. Now let's while this is starting up, let's go back to our diagram. So what we have done is we've taken this code, we have we've uh, defined an image we want to build. We've snuck some malware in there. Uh, we pushed it to GitLab, and because we already had a trigger ready, it immediately started running the pipeline to be able to build that Docker image and push it to Harbor. So let's go back over here, and we'll take a look and see if we're going, so we're gonna click on this particular stage and that's gonna take us to the live logs. So it is preparing the environment right now. All right, so let's scroll up just a little because it started working. So this is there's gonna be a lot in here because it's a lot of logs. Um, so here here was again, the, we're, we're catting that, that Harbor password. We're doing the login to our Harbor. Uh, the Docker build is started. And so here is the steps for the Docker build. We get all the way down here. It warns us about using pip. Uh, and then the last step here, there it is. So in this last step, we added the dirty files. So, and the image successfully built as Python extra 1.0 with the dirty files inside. And uh, here it is, uh, harbor.nox.rocks, GitLab Python extra tag 1.1. We pull the uh, CBCTL command line tool into the image. And so it's pulled it into, into the build image here, the one that, that GitLab is using. In case you didn't know, GitLab, when you run these kind of pipelines, it pulls in an ephemeral, uh, it stands up an ephemeral image, runs all the code, and then just destroys it. Uh, it's only used for the build. So that's why we are, we're going ahead and pulling that in. Okay, so it ran the scan on our new uh, image Docker image that we just built, and here at the bottom. Now, first of all, this is this Python image has a lot of CVEs in it. I was actually quite surprised at all the CVEs in. But at the very bottom of the log, we will see that here is this new section with file reputation, and there is our file name from earlier, malware. We even see the path that it was in, dirty files, uh, and the, the file name again is malware. It's known malware. And so the detailed report can be found here. Oh, wow, I, I'm gonna do this on the fly. I haven't actually tried to click this link from inside here before, but uh, that works just as expected. So here we go. We just scanned this. Here is our, um, here's our report. So here we see there's a file reputation right here. So that's the, that's the malware it found. These are the other CVEs, which is entirely too many, but we'll talk about that later. Um, we scroll down here, we see we've got the little tag malware. I love that tag because that just jumps right out at you. Like this is malware. 
And of course, it's in the very last layer because that was the very last thing we did. Here was the Python 3. Here's the pip where we installed those packages. And here is the malware. Uh, we could click on packages again. It's all the packages and then the container, the suspicious files. There it is. There's our, our malware. It's an elf uh, C file. Uh, there's our vulnerabilities again. And right now it isn't running anywhere. It's not running in any of the Kate's workloads. So that's why it's not showing up here because it's only been scanned in a pipeline, not actually deployed yet. And there's the scan log of when it was scanned this morning at 8.05 this morning. Excellent. Great stuff. So uh, that is, there we go, job succeeded. Now we can jump over. Let's look at our diagram again. And we see we've gone through the build process, all right? So if this were a real life, we could put a trigger on this that says, okay, if in this log we find malware, fail, stop. Pipeline should just die right where it's at. The scan would still go to the cloud and you would be able to look into the console and see why uh, it failed. But you would be able to set this up to fail on finding malware or even on critical vulnerabilities. So that is up to the CICD, the, the DevOps team to make that kind of decision. Okay. So in this case, we didn't care. We want to show off the feature. And so we're letting uh, this image, even though we already know that it has malware in it, we're going to let it go on down the path. And now we're going to click over here on Harbor. I'm going to refresh because sometimes Harbor will, okay. Sometimes if you wait too long, Harbor is going to log you out. So we refreshed, we're, we're logged into Harbor and we pushed that to the GitLab project. So here it is. And here is the GitLab Python extra. Uh, it's been uploaded three times. It's been pulled three times as I've prepared for this demo to make sure everything's working right. And we see that the last time it was modified was February 1st. Uh, this the date I am recording this right now. So it's in Harbor and it's ready to go. So now we're ready to jump over to our our uh, Kubernetes cluster. So let me make sure that I am connected this morning and it appears that I am. I'm going to clear my screen and I'm going to do a cube control get all. And there's everything. Everything's running. We seem to be fine. Um, I have a file in here. I'm going to cat it. It is called, it's just simply called pod.yaml. And in my pod.yaml, I have a uh, pod that we have here. I've named it Dirty Files. It has a, a pull secret. So you have to, when you pull from your own registry like this, you have to have the secrets already stored inside a, uh, a secret, uh, Kubernetes secret, so that you can use that for your image pull secrets. There is the container definition. It is, again, it's called dirty files. It is pulling from my harbor, harbor.nox.rocks, GitLab, Python Extra 1.0. That's the one we've been. And then I'm just using the classic spin and wait forever, which is just, uh, you're just going to sleep every 30 seconds. And then you're going to do it over again while true so that you are able to just let this pod run uh, forever. So we're going to kapply pod.yaml and pod.dirty files has been created. We're going to just go up here and we're going to run our pods again. We're going to see that dirty files is running just for fun. We're going to do a K describe pod dirty files. And here we go. Just so we can look and see, we successfully assigned um, the, the pod. The container image was already present on the machine and must not have changed enough for it to pull from our harbor this particular time because I've built this machine before, but it still has that malware in there. Um, that has not changed. So it's created the container and it's there. So we'll check one last time to make sure it didn't die, did not die. Okay, so now we're gonna go uh, to the dashboard for our carbon black cloud. So let's go to inventory and we're going to go to Kubernetes and we're going to go to container images. And that fast, if we look here, uh, file reputations critical. Um, we have, here it is, scanned harbor.nox.rocks, GitLab, Python extra 1.1 malware. And this is running 
in our cluster right now. And so it is showing up in the dashboard um, because it's here. So let's go ahead and we're going to remove it. We're just going to delete this pod now. Dirty files is deleting. We'll let that finish up. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back while we're waiting on that to finish. I want to go back to this diagram again. And I want to just show again here. We have seen the build process, the deploy process, and the run process. And we've seen that there, in this demo, I've showed you two uh, places where the scan is important. Here in the build process during CI CD, we can scan. We can take the results of that scan and decide to fail, uh, fail gracefully, and be able to know that something is wrong. That is shifting left because we shift left and we are putting security in all the way into the build process. We find malware, we find CVEs we're concerned about, and we can just stop the process, go all the way back here to our code. We can fix the CVE or we can find a better image or remove the malware, and then we can start over again. Much better than going all the way over here into our environment and then finding out that we have those nasty things inside our images. We also can scan if somehow it does make it all the way through this process. We're also checking at the cluster level when it comes into the cluster, it's gonna get scanned again, and it's going to check and see and let us know in the dashboard here if, um, something with malware has made it into the cluster. Uh, I did not show you today, but in the future, I will show you we, we have a plugin for Harbor so that once the image uh, arrives at Harbor, it will be scanned again inside of Harbor. And this is great because new vulnerabilities come up all the time. You can set Harbor to scan on an interval, hourly, daily, weekly, whatever you want. And if an, if an image has been sitting in Harbor for a long period of time, and a new CVE comes up or a new malware hash is added, it's going to catch it uh, because that could be a little bit of a hole if you push an image to Harbor and then let it sit there for a month or two and you're pulling it, but you don't realize that uh, a new vulnerability has come up. We'll, we'll look at that uh, another time. So let's go back to the uh, console one more time. Let's go ahead and refresh and let's see if Yes, the file reputation is gone already. So we've removed the pod with the malware. And so now the console has already recognized that that pod is gone and the file reputation is gone. All right, well, we're gonna wrap it up. Uh, this has been a really fun demo. I'm, I'm so excited about this feature. Really wanna thank the container development team. It's been, this has been a really great feature for us to add. And I hope you've learned something today and had fun.